And I can't wait so we can break apart to hear me if I seem a little unimpressed with this an antisocial pessimist. Hey guys, Mankind here, uh, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to make macros and link in-game items inside those macros. Uh, for example, when I click this macro, you'll see I have a couple items linked here. That way, when my macros get posted up into Trade Chat, uh, people can click on my items and know exactly what they are. <clears throat> now, a couple reasons for wanting to do this. Some items people may not know about, especially like, for example, this Sealed Tome of the Lost Legion. Uh, this is a mop item. Uh, people that didn't play in that expansion may not know what this item is. So if I post a macro that I want to sell this item and I don't have the link for it and people can't click on it, more than likely they're not going to whisper me and ask me what it is. So if you have the items linked, people can click on them and see what they are and you'll have a better chance of actually getting someone to whisper you to you know, ask your price or possibly buy your items. Uh, to get right into it, there's a couple different things you need to do. Uh, the first thing is you need to have the item you want to link either in your bags or you can do it on the auction house or clickable from like your chat window. Um, for example, if I was searching the auction house, I have this item here. And I'm just using a dummy chat for this, but I could just link it to myself like so. Now I have it in my chat so I can now I can put it in my macro. Now you'll notice um, I have this uh, spell here in my macro. Um, I don't actually have this spell. So if there's you want to link something into a macro that you don't currently have on your character, you can get it from Wowhead. And I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. Uh, let me just go to Wowhead. And I'm going to type in the name of that spell, which is the Codex of... Uh, and it should come up here it is the codex of Zareth, and that's the spell so I click here and this will work for any item in the game once you have the item here uh, on Wowhead you just click this button here it says links and by default it's going to show it right here in game link it's already highlighted I'm just going to right click and copy it and I'm just going to close out of out of this completely go back into the game now if I just control V that link into my chat it's uh, going to pop it up, and it actually put it up over here in my in my other chat window. Let me just copy it. Now you can see it. I put it on my underneath my webcam. But once you paste that in, it's going to uh, make it so you can click on it. So now I have both of my item links that I need to use. So now we can go ahead and make the macro. So just open up your macro uh, window, typing slash macro, and I'm going to make a new macro. Uh, any old one of these will do. I'm just going to give it a name. So, Warlock Tome. And I'm just going to do it just as I was going to do it in a trade chat. Usually you would do slash 2. From this example, I'm doing slash 5 because I'm just using a dummy chat to show you guys. Uh, so, I want to sell. And whatever you're going to type in the macro, type in. And what you want to do is have your cursor bl be blinking where you want to put the item link. So, in this case, I want to put it right here. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to open up my handy dandy notepad and I'm going to copy this script and I will post the script for this down below so you guys can just copy it. Um, I recommend just saving this to a notepad file so you can use it later. But I'm going to copy this script. Okay, I'm done with that. I can close my notepad. I have that copied. Now, like I said, make sure you are... Your cursor should be blinking inside your macro box where you want to put this. And once it's blinking, you're going to press the escape key on your keyboard one time. You'll notice that it's not blinking here anymore. And then you will press enter and that's going to bring up my chat uh, window down here in the bottom. And you're going to control V to paste in that macro. And you're just going to use your arrow keys on your keyboard to go in between these two parentheses right here. And then you are just going to shift click your item that your your link so i shift clicked it there and then press enter and what that did is boom it put it up here inside my macro 
and we can click back in here. Sometimes you might get an extra space. So you can just delete out that space. And let me see. Now I'm going to type some more part of the rest of my macro. Warlock only grants uh, this sweet spell. So now I'm going to do the same thing here for the uh, spell link. I have it blinking in my macro box. Press escape. Press enter. I still have that script uh, copied, so I'm control V to paste it. Move back arrow until I'm in between those parentheses down here, as you can see. And then I'm going to shift click uh, the spell. Uh, so it's inside those parentheses. Press enter, and voila, it is in my macro. Like I said, I got this little space here. Make it look nice and neat. And boom, and that is it. Now my macro is complete. I will. Um, I will show you guys that if you, you can't put too many of these links in one macro, I think two is probably the limit depending on what the character length is. But if I try and put another one, it, uh, let me, let me just give it a shot here. If I try to put this in here again, I don't know it did fit. Sometimes if you put a bunch of these in here, when you press enter, it's just going to bring your cursor back up here and it won't post anything. That just means you've went over the limit. Um, but it depends on what the character limit is. So once you hit that, you're good. If you go over that, it won't post it up there. Um, but to test this, what I do is just drag this to my bar and press it. And boom, there it is. And there are my links. Uh, pretty easy, guys, uh, once to do it. But uh, like I said, this can help you to sell items a little bit better, especially things that people don't know about. I use these macros uh, to sell items like this or when I sell the, uh, the farm toy dice. Just things that people don't normally go to the auction house and search for. They may not really know what they are, uh, but once you post them up, people are like, oh, I want to buy that. So it can just help you increase your sales. Uh, but that's it for this guide, guys. If you liked it, please uh, give a like, uh, comment down below, share, or if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel for more videos. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.